The next bank I'll discuss is Banco Santa Cruz. Now, Banco Santa Cruz is definitely, definitely the most preferred bank for foreigners, uh, in my opinion. You will find that a lot of foreigners uh, and frequent travelers, frequent, frequent tourists or snowbirders or long-term tourists, whatever, they definitely see, uh, they, they definitely flock to Banco Santa Cruz. And the reason why is I feel like Banco Santa Cruz is located uh, in all the tour spots. Also, though it's not, uh, though they're not one of the, the biggest banks here in DR, they definitely uh, are foreign, foreigner friendly, where uh, they are clear, they're very clear about their requirements and their process is pretty straightforward in opening up a bank account. Uh, of course, they offer bank accounts in, in dollars and pesos. And one thing that is important to note uh, that with a lot of these banks, whether you open up an account in pesos or dollars or dollars, is that they have a minimum requirement. So uh, I know in my experience with Banco Santa Cruz, the minimum requirement for a peso account was 3,000 pesos and the minimum requirement for a dollar account was $500. So therefore, at the end of the month, you want to make sure you have those minimums in there. Otherwise, they'll charge you 500 pesos in a peso account or $10 in the uh, dollar account. So uh, the requirements, the requirements uh, are a bit longer for Banco Santa Cruz than it was for BHD. But again, I opened up the account with Banco Santa Cruz. I was not a resident and I was, I'm not a citizen. So when I opened up the account, uh, I needed to have uh, like a, a work, a letter from work, my employment, or if you're retired, you need some sort of retire or pension letter. Of course, uh, I needed a guarantor. I needed, and basically that guarantor didn't have to come. I just, all I did was had a copy of the front and back of the settler, and then that was it. Um, bank account statements from the US, uh, passport, and my passport was not, was not, I was not outside of the 30 days, so I was still good. I was within the 30 days of, of my tourist visa. So, you know, and, and a few more things, right? The, uh, their list was uh, a little longer than Beachede, but not much longer. They, and they were more straightforward with the process. Uh, let's see. Beachede, uh, again, I said, I'm sorry, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz has CDs, they have uh, credit cards and various um, levels of credit cards. Uh, of course they do uh, mortgages, car loans, uh, personal loans, uh, savings accounts, and you know, all the stuff that you would look for in a bank. The, the, the good thing about Santa Cruz in my experience is they're, administratively they're just more efficient. They're, they're definitely much more efficient than Banco Beache de Leon. Uh, the, the downside with Banco Santa Cruz is they, they do not have a lot of branches. They only have a few branches throughout the country. And um, so therefore, in some areas that you're living in, if you're not in one of the major tourist areas, such as like Punta Cana, uh, Puerto Plata, uh, and of course, if you're not in, um, you know, and well, they're, they're pretty much all over Santo Domingo, but not as much as the other banks. And uh, if you're ever looking to go to a branch, you may have to go a little further out of your way to get to a branch. Um, Banco Santa Cruz, 
in my opinion, they tend to have folks that speak English. So if you don't speak any Spanish, uh, in my experience, they tend to have folks that speak English. And I, I'm sure that you have other branches from the other, um, other banks that speak English as well, but not as frequent as, you, as, in, my, as in my experience as you will find with people who um, work for Banco, Banco Santa Cruz. What up, my people? Hola, mi gente. Gracias por tu apoyo. Da me gusta. Sigue mi canal y comparte con toda tu familia. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please give it a like and subscribe and share with all your family if you enjoy my content. Peace.